And then there's the fuselage, you know, the body of the airplane. Um, you just, when you're thinking through that, you really want it to be as light as possible. So when you have your, it's your overhead, it's your staff, and it's like the meetings, the time. So if you're scheduling a ton of meetings that are just wasting time, um, for, for instance, in my book, I talk about, I used to sit in meetings and count how many people were there and how many hours, like how much time did we spend in here? And then I would project that out as, first of all, what did we not bill? And what did we just pay for this meeting? Like we have 12 people in this meeting and you think about that and you're like, that like if that hour if that meeting goes from an hour to an hour and a half, you got 12 people, that's 18, first of all, 18 billable hours that you didn't do, but 18 hours of salary basically that you're paying. Like we just we just bought those 18 hours and got nothing in return typically. So what you want to do is you want to think about your staff and your equipment and specifically meetings and how you're being efficient with your time. That's the overhead. Because the point of an airplane is to move things from one place to another. But you don't want it to be a bunch of, like I said, dead weight that just costs a bunch of money. So that's the simple idea of the airplane. Um, but then you know, there's there are frameworks and things that you can put into place to make sure the airplane's in the right order. Because, like I said, if, if your overhead's too big, then you got this huge, massive, you know, bubble of an airplane with these little itty bitty wings. It can't take off. Like it's it's just going to crash as soon as you start.